Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's your girl, oh, I'm in the Chibajoro, aka Miss Fair for Color Print Back for All Entertainment. If it's the first time you're me, almost doing the welcome, please do make sure that I subscribe and obviously hit the bell. I absolutely love you and do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at boldly, oh, I'm me. Your girl has got flu, so yeah, it's been a bit difficult. I won't lie. <laughs> it's been a bit difficult, headaches and all this. I do also have to remind you guys that on the 3rd of June, we're having our first masterclass. Thanks to Vuvuzela that decided to sponsor us. The tickets have moved from 1.480 to 1,000 rands. So everyone that has paid before, I am going to reimburse them. So if you want to come in and join in, you can go ahead and um, do it. Um, yeah, anyway, there are numbers on the yellow banner that was there in the beginning of the video. I don't know if it's still going to be here, but you can go ahead and make payment um, and then send a WhatsApp to the numbers that are there and then you'll be booked in. Anyway, just let's go ahead and get into this chat today we're going to talk about sian bougie she was trending you guys and the video that was actually trending here is this one everybody wanna be lit everybody wanna be rich everybody wanna be this if i was you i'd hate me bitch bougie life of sian i made some chili peppers with a filling of cheese bacon and lots and lots of meats and oh my gosh i couldn't peel out the thing is under i don't know what they call them but um yeah it was disgusting because of that but we love to learn <laughs> Anyways, I watched a Cardi B interview while I was taking care of my flowers and then I decided that, you know what, I want to look like her because I just watched the interview. And after that, I went out with him. We just got this, like, cute platter from Milk and Honey, Monte Casino. We also had, like, a couple of, you know, drinks just to feel good. The next day again, we actually went to Farmer's Market. You know what, we just felt like we were obsessed with each other because we always want to go out together. Look at us. And then I give it like a 6 out of 5. 6 out of... Yeah, like I have no explanation, but like I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't feel good. Um, the food wasn't as good. But at least most of the food that I ate, I actually got them for free. So I just post them on my Instagram and tag them, which is pretty cool. Shout out to me for being an influencer, motherfuckers. And then I, should, I had this one of strawberries. The good thing about my first experience with Farmer's Market, though, is that I met a cute guy and we lived together. And this is me in the morning. So my friend fetched me Vela from Egelela and then we went to Paul Restaurant. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. But anyways, this was the best food. 10 out of 10, honey. Like, it was my first time coming in. I feel so good about it. Now, I did not play the full video. The particular part that they trended here for is this particular one. And then I had this one of strawberries. The good thing about my first experience with Farmer's Market, though, is that I met a cute guy and we lived together. And this is me in the morning. So my friend fetched me Vela from Egelela and then we went to a ball restaurant. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. But anyway now yes let's go ahead and discuss it my ninjas sian bougie basically was doing her normal vlog on tiktok which is very good at those i do enjoy them i watch them all the time um and so she spoke about how she went to a farmer's market she met a guy and then she left with him same same day okay and then she spent a night over there in the morning he gave her mavuso which you know she seems to have been happy with that um mavuso and then after that she kept it moving continued like oh god did not even say anything thing that had people's jaws dropping now i will not even lie to you guys i love sian bougie and one of the reasons why i love sian bougie is the fact that she's not out here trying to portray or pushing no fake life if you are about whatever life lifestyle you are about be about it own it and live it that's all we've ever asked don't claim to be this hard-working woman that is working 80 hours in 24 hours a day um and then only like you know to be doing things like this behind the scenes this is a lifestyle of most of your influencers and that is the honest truth a lot of them get the most money that they make through men men that they've never met they meet today they get amavuso and maybe they become their sneakling or they become whatever these girls honestly like they go through it you understand 
so for me i love that sian buji is open about it she's truthful about it and nobody coming out here and saying hey you met a guy at farmer's market you went slept with him and collected money for it no she's out here telling it herself now why do i love that about her i love the fact that obviously as i said she's open number two if you're someone that is going to decide to say that i want to become a dj you will have to understand that if you have to live up to the standard that sian buji lives it will take more than just being a dj okay it may take you also having to go to farmer's market meeting a man sleeping with him and getting mavuso i do remember that there was a time that she actually did um this other vlog where she was talking about i think she went to Devon. um sorry oh this lip um i think she went to Devon. she had an agreement with the guy that she was supposed to go to go to i don't know if she went to him or they went to Devon together when they were in the club she wanted a certain bottle i think that is an expensive one and the guy said that oh they were out but she was like i could see other tables having the bottle of alcohol that she wanted and she also said that the guy had not arrived yet you know like she has got a price that if you cannot meet her you have not arrived and she's not even shame ashamed about it and she said that she actually took a flight back okay and so for me i was like a person that is honest about her life i'm here for it all honestly now there are people that are obviously out here now saying that basically a girl is selling i don't know if she's selling or not i know that she has got um you know she there are certain things that she requires she also did say that <coughs> <coughs> sorry for a body to look this beautiful it was not jeans she spent a lot of money and went under the knife um for her to look this good so for you to just expect to come to something that somebody invested that much you know obviously i guess that's just not um for her so for me I honestly won't even lie i love the fact that she's being open about everything she's even vlogging about it she's not here with no fake lifestyle where you know she does this in private meet guys sleep with them get mafuso go to durban or go wherever you know get money and come back and claim or guys i'm a hard-working woman i'm a self-made i i started from the bottom I, i'm doing this which obviously i'm sure she did but what i'm simply saying is that at least you know that in her journey there's certain aspects that also gives her her money do you understand what i'm saying and so that's the part that i love and i think we're like throughout even from the beginning i've always said this or we don't have a problem with your eat girls i don't know eat girls or whatever influencers whatever we don't have a problem with them the only problem that is there is when you are in the industry you are able to see and kind of gauge or okay you know there's money to be made there's a lot of money to be made however not to that extent do you understand what i'm saying like okay be honest be truthful next thing you know you're being exposed for some nonsense and some bs because you choose to lie to people and so what i love with sian is that nobody's gonna expose her for anything because who goes the one that is out here talking to us and telling us and i love that she shows all the the size the size where she gets money the size where i think as we speak she's going to court there's a guy that gave her a red eye if i'm not too mistaken i don't know exactly what happened there i don't think she spoke about it but i do remember in one of her vlogs she was as i said i watch her vlogs she was talking about how you know the she was um going through a case of the guy that gave her the red eye um you know she has spoken about her journey also having to go through uh, abortion um you know in the story of what happened with <coughs> <coughs> that guy who allegedly is the one that even hacked all her social media accounts she had to start again from scratch which they have grown and so for me i am not even going to lie i have no problem with her i think that girl do you and if she's honest about it i love it for her no one is gonna go into the djing industry um eyes closed thinking oh i'm gonna do that stay in sentin drive a mercedes benz um be popping cham pop um and this and this no it takes a lot takes different levels sometimes you gotta even have to fight men you're gonna be having to go to the police you're gonna have to know that yeah and there were people that were also talking about her age she is only 21 um and i would say that yes i do understand that you know she's still young and sometimes when you're still young especially when you're like 21 you think oh i know everything about everything actually you do not um it's only when you're older that you realize damn i didn't know anything um and so you know she's on in this phase 
maybe this is how she's gonna continue living her life forever or she's gonna choose to change but what i love is that where she is now she's being honest about it and i love it for her anyway go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation and let's move on to the next topic so the next person that i'm gonna talk about is nadia nakai and the tweet that she actually put out so she said i've been so unlucky with love i'm never doing it again okay now clearly it means that she was really going through a tough time as you guys know Nadia Nakai's boyfriend who was aka was gunned down um just a few months ago and it has been such a sad situation also just because they've not quite found out um or you know even arrested um the people that are responsible for this which I feel like just brings more pain to the family um my prayers are honestly with Nadia Nakai I I can't imagine the pain that she's actually going through um and I think that with her like this just makes me even more sad because the love that she and aka shared wild you know absolutely wild everyone talks about it um and the way that you could just see like they didn't do everything for social media there's so many memories that she's now sharing after his past that i guess maybe they had chosen they're gonna just cherish them in private um and he was just aka was always anyway a public lover like he was someone that was very expressive when he loved someone um but it does seem like he had found his forever which i do believe that he did because he, she's the one that he was with um when he actually passed i do pray for nadia's healing um i do believe that you know she will find love again um one day it does happen but yeah i i just can't imagine i feel like th there would be that aspect of being scared um just because obviously once you go through something traumatic you don't ever wanna you know go through that again but anyway go ahead and comment down below my just what you guys think and also just do send your love to nadia nakai from your mini i love you guys stay blessed and i will see you guys my next upload bye ninjas